Let's talk about how to put your heart and soul into supersizing your business. Sharon Horner from here. Hearts, I have a lot of heart-shaped things since my sudden cardiac arrest. I collected heart-shaped things for a long time. And I realized today I don't have very many heart-shaped things around me anymore because I've moved on to other things. I have a lot of seeing and eye things around me now because that's more in my front and more uh, something I need to pay more attention to. So to put your heart and soul into something, what does this mean? Where did it come from? You actually... The origin of the idiom, put your heart and soul into something, is really unknown. The exact origin. However, they believe that heart and soul and that expression has been used since the 1700s. It means it's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. If it's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years, it's probably impacting all of us. So how do we put our heart and soul into supersizing and growing our business? Well, number one, we create a business that we have some passion and interest in and desire to create. We create what we want to create in the world. Number two, we think about our culture. Our culture of our organization, whatever it is that we're building, is the lifeblood of that organization. Our culture will impact how people who interact with our organization feel. How do our employees feel? How do the people that are partners to us feel? How do our suppliers and vendors feel about us? How do our customers feel about us? Probably the most important. Second to, I think, employees and the people that are building our business. Uh, how do they feel when they are interacting and having exchanges with our business? Our business intent, our customer success, and our employee success all come together to impact the feeling people have when they work with our business. And we want them to feel the heart and the soul of our business when they do that. What's one of the best ways to do that? Well, besides our decision making, decision making is like and should be in every cell of our organization, right? But our brand identity is how we truly manage and control how people feel about our organization. Now, whether we pick up brand identity and create it ourselves and put it out into the world or other people create it for us, we will have a brand identity. Our brand identity might be that it's created by the people that we serve. So make sure that you are putting out into the world what you want to put out into the world with respect to your organization. And that starts with putting your heart and soul into it. And my question for you today is, what is the heart and soul of your business? Share in one sentence in the comments below the heart and soul of your business. Maybe it's your tagline. Maybe it's your core value. Maybe it's uh, the feeling you want your customers to go away with after they've interacted with your organization. For me, challenges, I, I was thinking about this today as I was preparing for it. I'm like, okay, well, what is, what do I put my heart and soul into these days? And it's been pretty much the same thing for the majority of my life, especially for the last decade or so. I put my heart and soul into, I've always put my heart and soul into challenges. Um, seeing challenges, finding obstacles, overcoming those obstacles, and facing challenges. And challenges are definitely something that I put my heart and soul into. I'm working on my fifth annual challenge this year. We're doing our fifth annual challenge. Uh, continuous improvement, lifelong learning. And I realized that those are all things that I personally can manage and control and decide how much energy or effort I put into them. So this year, I just committed today, I'm going to expand my definition of what I put my heart and soul into so that I have a bigger impact than I have been having since COVID started. I noticed that as COVID hit, I started to shrink the heart and soul of, of me and my business in terms of feeling that I needed to have more control over things that I uh, didn't feel like I had control over it, if that makes any sense at all. So I want to expand my heart and soul this year. What does heart and soul of your business, how does putting your heart and soul into your business impact you? Share in the comments below. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom related to emotions for this month, the month of February. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you apply it to your business today? Have an awesome day. Bye.